mean? To all your fans? Yeah. Morning, guys. Um, I just crashed. I got here at 1 a.m. It's now currently quarter to eight. I just kind of crashed in this Costa car park here. It's just like a like a, like a travel lodge car park. But the only down of having such a small little van is that when I need to go to bed, you have to just pile everything up up the front there because the only space you've got in the back is on the bed. But we love it, don't we? Right. Let's have a look outside, see what's going on. So here we are, dudes. Sorry about the hair. It's our little beast. All parked up. This is what we, uh, where we stayed. So yeah, not very exciting. People getting the morning coffees. There's a really crazy busy road behind me. So we're up early, we're gonna make a move. I've got to go and do some shopping, fill my call box up, get my fridge filled up and uh, then head off to Man Van Tribe. Let's go, let's have a look. So it's a bit windy. We're all set up at Man Van Tribe. The old bus set up. So we'll get you some, we'll have a look at some handles that are on the vans. Um, here you go guys. Crafty blinders is a good one, scannable. Get your phones out. We've got Crafter Clyde. Buff buff. We'll do some, um, we'll do some van tours a little bit later. himself our man towels the legend it's blue up in there hello blue how are you doing mate I can see you I can see you I can see you with my clothes close eyes I can see you I can see you I can see you with my clothes close eyes
steak, golden vegetable, rice and onions. Living it large. Absolutely mega morning. Not a cloud in the sky, absolutely stunning, man. Some early risers. I think they're all planning on going on a bike ride today, but I don't think I'm gonna go. I haven't got my bike here, you'd have to rent one. And I ain't feeling 100%. <laughs> but there's a little bike there, this dude next door put his bike under me on it to keep it nice, it's a nice e-bike. Sorry about the bright, um, brightness there. Not a bad jalopy that, let's make some breakfast. Mustard. So just a little walk about here, have a look at some of these vans. Before we do that, I'll tell you a little bit about Man Van Tribe. Show started a few years ago, and this is a third gathering. First one had 15 vans. Then the second had 30. This is where I found out about the show, watching Andy and Lindsay on our Van Tales YouTube channel. I spotted Andy's video about a cheeky dude's gathering and I made a beeline for it. There is a Facebook group called Adventure Vans and this seems to be where a lot of the van owners here hang out and organise themselves. And a lot of the communication was done in this group. Man Van Tribe also have a website and a Facebook page. I'll put a link to all of them in the description. It's well worth checking out if the event is held again next year, that is. It's a fairly central-ish location, Gloucester in the UK, so it's not mega bad to travel to, providing you're only in Scotland. This was my first time here, and the welcome was superb. There was plenty that I'd missed in this video, like the axe throwing and the archery. There were talks from guys that van life around the world and all sorts of overlanding expeditions. And all in all, it's pretty well organised. That's definitely worth checking out if you see any tickets available. And here's Aiden from Urban Arc Overland, nearly taking my toes off. Natter. Good old Tom Dib was there in his Volkswagen T3, rocking it for the band. Always a pleasure to listen to Tom, seen him for years and years at Bus Fest. Really cool guy, really good sound. Nice work, Tom. Ain't no woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Morning, guys. Last day, lovely morning. Man's looking tasty as usual. Gonna get the old sausage and bacon wrap going. Let's make it happen. Danny, come on, let me do an interview with you. Uh, what do you do? How uh, do you say good morning to all your fans every morning, Danny? Ah, it's good morning. To all your fans? I don't like it when people can see your like, you know, your steps that you're taking.
That is awesome, mate. Right, man, van tribe's all done. Just said goodbye to the fellas. Now we're on our ride home. Two and a half hours, let's make it happen. So there we go, dudes. I'm home from Man Van Tribe. One at 142 miles in about two and a half hours, which I think is pretty good going. Weather is absolutely stunning, so it was a pleasure to drive the old girl home, to be fair. It weren't a chore at all. Um, a couple of shout outs for me. One is Sam from the Crafty Blinders YouTube channel. Absolute legend. Really, really warm and welcoming. Made sure that I kind of, he knew that I was the new dude in the group. And so he made sure, you know, that he came over, said hello, you know, kind of kept kept bringing me into the circle. So that was really, really appreciated. Uh, absolute legend. And also Andy from Our Van Tales is exactly as you see him in his videos. There's nothing fake in, in the videos or in real life at all. It's just a cool, chilled out vibe. Absolutely, ab just a top bloke. So he was a really nice dude. Thanks, Andy, for the welcome. And uh, I, met, I met Aiden from Urban Arc overlander he's a cool dude and um yeah bought me ape hat so had a really good time everybody was super chill super cool the um the show is basically about loads of dudes getting together listening to some music having a campfire and and talking putting the world to rights basically with a few beers so if that's your thing and it is mine next time round watch out for the um watch out for the announcements of the tickets and grab them quite early because there's not a lot i think it's only 200 tickets but it was this year there's a like a facebook group that's uh, all about the man van tribe and it's called adventure van so a lot of announcements and stuff will go into there so obviously i'll put a link to that in the description as well keep it real dudes thank you very much that's the end of the video i really appreciate you watching till next time peace and love